Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch, interact and also learn. The tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we inform for lesson 6 and the topic is uh, poultry uh, production. And the subtopic is uh, brooding and rearing of chicks. On to the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, explain uh, brooder management before arrival of chicks and number two explain brooder management after the arrival of chicks uh, the terms used include uh, the first one we have brooding and this refer to the process of rearing of chicks and the second term we have a rear a rear refer to a bird which is uh, reared with the name of egg production and we have the broiler, these are the birds uh, that are there in the farm with an aim of uh, production of meat. Uh, then we have the brooder management before the arrival of the chick and the first, uh, the first one should be, uh, it should be ready three days before the arrival of the chick. And number two, you are supposed to spread the newspapers on the floor where you are supposed to put the, the feed for the chick. And number three, uh, putting some feed on the newspaper. Number four, uh, putting feed into uh, on the feeder. And finally, provision of uh, clean water to the chicks. As you can see, uh, it is well demonstrated using uh, these uh, diagrams. Uh, then we have the brooder management after the arrival of the chick. Uh, the first one is uh, feeding. Uh, immediately, the chick arrives. Uh, at home, uh, you're supposed to provide them with a sugar solution uh, so that uh, if they can feed on it. Then uh, you should uh, immediately give them a chick mash for the first uh, first week up to 12 week. You're supposed to uh, feed them uh, with the uh, chick mash. Then we have the starter mash, uh, week one, for those who, which are meant for uh, for, for meat production, uh, they are, those are the breeders, chick, they are supposed to be uh, given the starter mash on the first week up to the fourth week. Then we have uh, chick mash uh, should be mixed with the growers, that is uh, for the, the, the ones which are meant for uh, eggs production, and the growers mash should be introduced on week seven. The grass mash and green vegetables uh, should uh, continue to be given uh, to the poultry uh, from week 7 up to week 15. Then the broilers for on mash or perets uh, should be introduced on week 8. Uh, then soluble grit uh, or oyster shells uh, should be provided on week 12. Uh, the rears mash uh, should be introduced on 16th week and this uh, is meant uh, only to the layers for those uh, poultry which are meant for, meant for uh, eggs production. You are supposed to introduce the layers mash. Uh, and for those which are meant for meat production, those are the breeders, you are supposed to introduce the initial pellets on week 8. Then we have watering, that is the second uh, management practices, uh, and you are supposed to provide clean water uh, to the poultry. Uh, to the chick and also to the growers uh, at di different uh, levels. Then you're supposed to carry out vaccination uh, for the diseases because uh, some uh, diseases are very uh, common in poultry. For example, we have gamboro that is on the second week. You're supposed to vaccinate the, all the chick against gamboro on the second week. Then we have the second disease that is Newcastle. You're supposed to vaccinate against Newcastle one month or on the fourth week and six month then we have full typhoid also should uh, be they, they are supposed to be vaccinated against the full typhoid on week uh, seventh week and also you repeat again on six month then after six months after every six months you will be vaccinated against a Newcastle 
and for typhoid. Then we have the fourth uh, management practices. Uh, we have the parasite control. We are supposed to carry out the preventive measures for the parasite uh, because parasites are known to lower the, uh, the level of production to the layers and also lowers the, uh, the level of production as far as the breeders are concerned. Then we have come to the end of today's lesson and I'm going to mark this end of this lesson with uh, giving you assignment. The first question, you are supposed to discuss the various brooder management after the arrival of the chick. And number two, you define the term uh, broiler. Then for reference, you can refer from secondary uh, agriculture student book uh, four and the publisher is the Kenya Literature Bureau. Uh, for more information, you can reach us at Elim TV using the following addresses. You can use the SMS using the number which is well displayed for you. You can also use YouTube and find, uh, and also you can use the Facebook platform at Elim TV. And finally, you can reach us through uh, Twitter at Elim TV underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Till next lesson, goodbye.